What is up, my good people? The name is Pixel Love, and we are back with another episode of Earthbound. If my voice sounds down, if I sound like I'm down in the dumps or whatnot, I kind of am. I've, I've been feeling under the weather recently. Um, I have taken like a COVID test, and apparently it's not COVID, but like I've been real feeling like really sick these last few days. Like everything's been hitting me like a truck. But I still want to make content for you guys, and I'm not going to sacrifice my health for y'all's entertainment, so. <laughs> gotta get on with the show. Gotta get on with the show. Sorry that I made you worry. Sorry, what? Mom's, mom, Dad and Mom said they won't go to Happy Happy Village anymore. I'm not sure why, but now I'm happy. Let's go. That's what I like to see. You woke me up from that nightmare. Glad to see that the people of Tucson have finally come to our senses but yes in the last episode we freed the people of Tucson and the people of the happy happy village from what seems to be some sort of curse some sort of cult like figure or whatnot I don't know it's just some bullshit that's happening with Carpenter and whatnot but apparently everyone got back to their senses so that's a good thing I also know that the runaway five were actually looking towards the meeting Paul so I want to see what they have I want to see what they have to say here was a girl today. You must be pretty popular. How about introducing her to my bandmate? He's right there. Hey, you came with Paula. And you deserve a present, playboy. Here's a backstage pass. Hey! Holy shit! We got a backstage pass now, don't we? Of course, you could watch the show using the pass. Okay. Whatever, I'll be using that pass right away, my good sir. But before I do that, I guess I'm interrupted by this ass again. Pictures taken instantaneously, I'm a photographic genius, whatever. I know I said uh, I'd find uh, Fuzzy Pickles. I know I'd say I'd find a, vo a voice friend, but I can't do voices right now. <laughs> I'll try my best, but... Cut me some slack here. Hello, please present your ticket. Let me show you my backstage pass. Here we go, hurry! You're just in time to see the Runaway 5 show. Ooh, baby, what do we got here? I came here because it's tough to get in, but I'm kind of disappointed. There are no good looking waitresses. There's no room for me to show off my latest dance moves. Eee, buddy, you might, well, might want to look somewhere else. Hey, you kids. How'd you get tickets? Where are you? The owner's kids or something? You know, I think it's pretty tacky to entertain. Our company's, pu our company's business partner by taking him to a Runaway 5 show. And since I'm new to the company, I better just toe the line. It's not tacky to entertain. People love entertainment. Well, well. I got a little kid here talking to me like he's an adult. I give you one thing. You got guts, kid. Damn straight. I'm the Ness. They seem too proud, I mean. They just filled up this little music hall after all. A dub's a dub, my boy. My boyfriend lost a ticket that I gave him. He's waiting outside the entrance. He got, he's got butterfingers, but he's nice. Hey, 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 don't get too close to me. I just farted. <laughs> of course. Well, at least he's being honest. The Runaway Five are going to be the world famous band someday. You kids are bouncing around, talking to everyone. It's getting annoying. Man. Do you like baseball? You're damn right. I knew it. Your cap gave it away. What if I said I don't? Ah, I see. Well, you don't look like... Well, you don't look like you can figure out a sophisticated game like baseball. Oh, fuck off. Lucky if the Runaway 5 told, told me I could go backstage, but I don't have a pass. I'm sure security will stop me. Hey, really? You have a pass? I can't believe it. Can you take me with you? I can pose as your sister, yes? What? What? Hold up. Hold up, lady. I want to talk to the other guys. Can I not talk with the other guys? A young fan like you really gets into the Runaway 5's music. Wow, I'm impressed. La la, Mimi, I'm Tone Death. My daughter brought me here. La la, la. Tone Death, you say. Hmm. 
Buddy, I, I'm gonna need you to move. Holy crap. La 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 la, I just love ragtime. Seeing the runaway fight on stage is my life. When I sit close to the stage, sometimes I get sweat or spit on me from the one away five. Ugh, maybe this is not a good idea to talk to these people again. Hey, you know what? Why don't you bring me backstage again? Not gonna lie, aside from like not feeling well, the room I'm recording in is like really hot right now. Yeah, I'm getting a headache now <laughs> because of my illness, so things are not looking so well for me right now. I'm not gonna die though, so <laughs> I'll just trick on through. I'm so excited. I might just sweat. I might just blank myself. My heart is going pitter patter. I'm not reading the rest of that. Hey, you get to see our show, you lucky kid. Hope you pay attention. I want some bread. I need the coinage. I want more dough, dough all the time. Of course, my G, you always gotta bring home the bread. It's just impossible. It's unfathomable if you don't bring home the bread. I wrote the lyrics to most of the Runaway 5 songs. Money. That's what I want. Money. That's what is hot. Money. That's what I want. Money. It's what we ain't got. Except freedom. 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 Is what we really sought. Hey, good lyrics there, my G. Good lyrics. Well, yeah, in the old days, there were a lot of, lots of dancers and acts in this theater. Except now, we're the only act playing here. We even got into debt here. So we're pretty near stuck. Yeah, <laughs> the folks in Tucson will really enjoy the Runaway 5 show for quite a few years, looks like to me. Come on, move! I got those debt blues. What is this man, the Scat Man, Scat Man Johnson? If I had $10,000, I could pay on my debts and move on to the next town. I wonder if our bus still runs and maybe rust it out. I have like 10,000 in the bank, my G. I could try giving it to him. Oh shoot, the show's starting. Yeah, that's right. Tonight, you got the Chaos Theater Soul Bank coming at you. Rocking and rolling on this here stage for a limited time only. The world's greatest bluesmen. The Runaway Five. And here they come. Ooh yeah, baby. Can we get an encore for the runway five here, baby? Well, looks like that's it. Oh, that was almost too much. I would check what everyone else says here, but yeah, I'm not going to. I don't have much of the energy <laughs> to do anything. Oh, pardon me. Come on, guy. You gotta do something about the debt. Do I really have to pay $10,000? Cause I really don't feel like it. I genuinely don't feel like paying $10,000 to the Runaway 5. It looks like they're still there. Well, other than the Runaway 5, I know that Everdred still wants to see Paula. Well, to be fair, this entire town wants to see Paula, but I just can't really be bothered to go see the entirety of the town again. Even I have standards. Alright, Everdred. 
person must take care of your parents they're really worried they also have something to give to you so be sure to come back here promise all right uh whatever you say mr boss man it's not like i really have a choice all right we're here all right lady yahoo i knew it you saved paula i don't really understand it but i know that paula's miraculous power and your great courage will allow you to stand up to any challenge paula if you must take a trip be sure to bring this along it's my very own handmade band-aid Ooh, that rhymes I know, I'll call it a hand aid. And of course, Ness gets the hand aid, not Paula. Did you meet Dad? He is sorry that he suspected Mr. Everett of Berglund Park. What does a hand aid even do? It heals your wounded body, gone after one use. Cool. In other words, it's practically gonna be useless. You know what? I'm just giving this to I'm just giving this to Paula. Oops. Oh, Paula! Ness, thank you so much. You must be the boy who will save the world, like in Paula's dream. Paula, I'm sure you'd be a big help to Ness. It's not every day a father lets his daughter embark on a journey to save the world. Dad, don't worry about me. Ness and I will be able to take care of ourselves. In three to the next town, we'll meet another friend. If the three of us can combine our power, no one can beat us. Now wipe your eyes, blow your nose, and smile before we take off. Goodbye, Paula. Don't worry, I won't cry anymore. Starting now, he won't cry anymore. Do we have anything that you need to get out of your room, Paula? Or was the teddy bear the only thing that we had? Yep, nope. That's it. Hello, Ness? Everage is looking for you. He's got something for you. Jeez, thanks a lot, Bucko. I was just about to go to Everage. Could have at least he could have at least given it the thing that he wanted to give you to give to me. No, instead he decides to send you because he thinks, oh, Ness probably forgot. Nah, G. Alright, Everdread. I was gonna ask you to be my partner, but I know you refuse. It's written all over your face. If you accepted, I was gonna give you some money. Actually, I can't keep the money now, anyway. Let me give this to you. It's $10,000. Holy shit! Use the money any way you like. You cannot refuse my generosity, just accept it. Now I plan on looking for the evil Mani Mani statue that Lear X Agarit unrest and on it. That was the guy. That was the irrelevant fucko that I was thinking of. Lear. I'll see you at another time. In another space. The wad of bills. Let's fucking go. It's not in my bank account, but soon it will. I wish. Ah, oh, they're brand new and crispy, just like I like my money. You know, I just remembered two things. I remember that one, my bicycle is now basically useless because I have Paul on my team. But two, I could actually give this money to to pay off the Runaway Five. Finally, I don't have to use my own fucking money. And also, Bucko, I need you to move. I'm just gonna have to give it this dipshit. Well, buddy. Excuse me? What's that you got there? Let me take a real close look. What? My G, the money's right here. Do, do I need to give it to you again? What's going on here? Yikes! You surprised me. Now I'm not sure what to do. I got the money, of course. Now the Runaway 5 are free to leave. Got no complaints now that I have my money. Well, what do you know? This little nipper took us from a nightmare to a dream. Ow, this means we can get out of this dump. I'm a good driver. Come on, I'll show you. Alright, let's move on to the next town. I'm sure our old hunk of junk will get us there. I didn't make a spectacle of myself, did I? 
The Runaway Five are free to leave. Blah blah blah. Let's do this. I also find it a little weird that there's they call the Runaway Five, but there's six members. I suppose I'll never see the Runaway Five show again. Yeah, my G, you should you should have never lost your your ticket. You know, don't have butterfingers. Let's go to three. Our tour bus is too loud for any ghost to bother us. Oh, hell yeah! Now I don't have to worry about the stupid... The stupid freaking ghosts on my way to three now. Wait, what the fuck was that? I swear I saw something on the left side of my screen. Whatever. Okay, guys, here we go. Hey, sidewalk, get out of my way. Alright, we got the epic tour bus ride now. You can even say you can even see that it says runaway. Yeah, first we had the epic train ride, now we have the epic bus ride. Now but now even better, we have the epic tour bus ride. Let's fucking go. I wonder what 3 is like. I actually have no expectations at all whatsoever. We just passed by the ghost like it's nothing. Oh, actually, never mind. One of them is falling. Now two of them are falling. Oh, but these, they don't want to stay. Huh. Would you look at that? Would you look at that? We're now at three. Looks like we have to say goodbye for now. This town seems pretty gloomy. But I'm sure you could light the place up with your own little brand sunshine. Hope to see you again sometime. Look for us to be singing at some theater in Foreside. Alright, my G's, take care. You know, I just realized something. We first have the city of Onet. One. One at Whatever. Then we have the city of Tucson. Two. Now we have the city of Threed. Three. And they just mentioned about the city of Foreside. Four. I, I don't know if there's any conspiracy theories out there, but... Hey, you know, I'm just saying, I, I'm just, I'm just laying down facts here, you know? I'm just laying down facts here. A calorie stick? The fuck? Ooh, baby. Give me a moment and then I will be right back. Okay, so I just finished with looking into the drugstore. And I really only picked up the minor league bat and the thick fry pan. Everything else just kind of seemed mid or something that I already have. And I put away the backstage pass and the hand aid. I have no fucking clue what the hand aid does. And well, I'm not going to bother having that in my inventory. I'm going to keep the Franklin badge for now, but everything else is basically the same. I'm wondering what is up with this town. What is this? The handsome Tom. Oh damn, would you look at that? Paula does quite a quite a large amount of damage. Oh, that reminds me. Since the last episode, Paul is now level 20. And she has quite a quite a good amount of PSI powers, mostly PSI fire, and freeze, and thunder. So, you know, I'm not complaining, especially when there's easy enemies like these. A smiling Sam and a handsome Tom. Hmm. Let's see how this goes. 
Damn. I actually did more da- I actually done more damage to... I actually do more damage with my uh, frying pan than I do with my PSI. That's crazy. Ow! You fuck. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go. Gotta love a good smash attack. Still get pretty decent XP. If I go here, and if the ghosts find me, ooh, 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 go back. Are they just gonna send me back to Tucson? Or are they gonna send me back to Threed? God damn, it is hot in this fucking room right where I am right now. Holy shit. Okay, so I'm sent back to Threed. I actually thought it would have been funny as hell if I was sent back to Tucson. But I guess I just have to check out this town, see what's going on and whatnot. Probably might. Not gonna lie, probably might stay a little quiet, so... I'll I'll hit you guys up when something interesting happens. That's right, there's a rumor that a monster called Belch is screwing up the town. Belch, that's a gross twisted name even for a monster. Hmm. Could he be the reason why there's so many ghosts and zombies here in town? I overheard the zombies whisper. Master Belch would give us our lives back. Master Belch is the zombie leader. He must be really pukey. Hmm. Interesting to know. There's a rumor that there's an underground path at the edge of the graveyard that it takes you somewhere. When you get through the path, you'll meet a dirty, stinky, ugly, powerful monster. I shit my pants just thinking about it. I think I would too, buddy. Yeah, I work for the zombies, but I betray them too, so I'm a con man, so I know the score. Belch gives life to the zombies, but Belch works for Gygus, who I heard might be female. I'm not really sure whether Gygus is a male or a female. I'm a helpful con man, don't you think? So, it might be stupid of me just to like, actually come up with this question now, but does, does every single like sanctuary monster work for Gygus? That might be obvious, but like, I don't know, you, you just never really ask the obvious questions. Hey, you don't look so happy. You better cheer up or you'll become a zombie. Some people have already become tools of the zombies. Really? Jesus Christ, really? Are you really gonna take two pictures right now? And in front of a Gravestone, nonetheless. What the fuck is wrong with you? Fuzzy pickles, I guess. Just fuck off, for the love of God. Thank you. What the fuck was that? He stares into your soul. He looks you over. So this must be the, the little area in the graveyard that they were talking about. And they're blocking it. Hmm. Who is that? Dog, what is happening? What the hell is going on? Oh my... I really just fell for that one, didn't I? Oh, oh! You're losing consciousness. What could be the fate of Ness and his friends? Where am I? Dog, I didn't even save. I don't even have my... Enough PSI. Oh, would you look at that? I'm fully healed up. What do I do? 
I'm calling out to you who I've never met. I'm calling our friend who we've never met. Jeff, Jeff, we need your help. I am Paula and I am with another friend, Ness. We are trying to contact you.